Hey guys, John Judd here. Today we're going to talk about how to do something really cool inside of Patcher. This topic is in response to someone who had commented on my mapping controllers MIDI CC video. RG had commented, there's something I've been searching for and I can't find it. Is there a way that you can set a CC controller for selecting instruments? Like if I press a certain button, it'll choose on a synth, then another, then choose another and RG couldn't find that particular functionality in FL Studio. To be honest, I can't think of a way to do that. I almost bet you somebody who's watching this video will know how to do that with a MIDI CC. At this point, I haven't quite thought of it yet. So the objective is we want to be able to have multiple synths without having to actually go over to the channel rack and click the different synths to select them to play through. The objective is, is that you would have a button that would select them for you. This isn't the ideal solution, but it is a solution. We have Patcher here, and we're going to add a few native synths. So we have Citrus, Armless, GMS. Those are arbitrary choices. You could choose anything. Okay, so I want something that'll make it so I can choose between these synths without having to work too hard or to go to the channel rack and go up and down. This is the idea that I thought might work to solve this problem. Right click, add plugin. We're gonna go down to VFX keyboard splitter. I'm gonna keep things simple today with only three synths. If you had like 10 synths, that could make this method obsolete, but if you just have a few, this'll work. So now that we have this up, for the sake of simplicity, since I've chosen three, we're gonna go into the VFX keyboard splitter. We're gonna go to presets go down to keyboard and hit three zone split. So now zones one, two, and three have their own respective keyboard zones. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click the VFX keyboard splitter. We're gonna go to outputs, events, and see how zone one is checkmarked? We're gonna do that to zone two and zone three. You have three little outputs up here. Now, if you look in the hint bar, as I select this, look in the hint bar, it says zone one. As I select this, zone two, this, zone three. Here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to zone one, and we're gonna link zone one to citrus. Now, at this point, the keyboard should make sounds. and I'm playing inside of zone one. Maybe I should show you that. Okay. Now we're gonna take zone two and connect that to harmless. Zone two. And you can tell the MIDI is going in and the sound out is coming from harmless. Okay. Now we're gonna go down here. To GMS, we're going to connect to GMS. Now my keyboard is set up in different zones, so it will play different synths. One thought that might have occurred to you is Citrus. Sounds way lower. You could take zone one, transpose it 12 semitones, which is one octave. Maybe we'll transpose it 24. That's citrus. That's harmless. And that's GMS. Might even have to transpose the one in the highest range down. So I've transposed GMS down. So that's your VFX keyboard splitter. The solution isn't perfect because you have limited range of octaves per instrument, but this is somewhat of a solution. I hope that helped you today. Hope you're having a great week. I'll catch up with you soon.